director of photography, Alec Watson. And welcome to the video where I show you how to fix the bane of my entire photography existence, sensor dust. So if you want to cure sensor dust, I've got a video on the ACDC uh, YouTube subscription site on actually going in and fixing sensor dust in different ways. Definitely check that out. But most of us find sensor dust after the fact. And certainly I do. And that's what I'm going to take you through. Let me talk about it for a quick second in terms of as a photographer. I shoot a lot of portraits. That means I usually have a prime lens on. The prime lens is fairly open. Maybe I'm shooting 1.8, f2, 2.2. When you've got a wide open aperture, the light coming into the lens is, is fairly broad and it can actually light behind the dust particles. It makes dust almost invisible. It's for people that shoot interiors or maybe realtors or certainly if you're out and you're shooting a scenic and you want that deep depth of field and you close up that aperture to get that, you know, that longer exposure, the, get everything in focus. And when that aperture is really closed, it makes the light more of a pinpoint and you're going to see every speck of dust. So that's when it's going to crop up and the dust rarely moves. Uh, so like it's stuck to your sensor. We can use this to our advantage. I'm going to take you through, through the why of getting rid of sensor dust. I apologize in advance for a not so interesting subject, but it is appropriate. Here's a shoot I did for a design firm. Now this design firm had me go in on this set of condos and they wanted interior shots. So this is, we can tell this is my, my test interior shot. And maybe I'll do, at some point I'll do a video of how to shoot an interior. And it's not that interesting subject, but it does have sensor dust. <laughs> and it's, a, it's an appropriate one because interiors are actually the hardest ones to get rid of sensor dust. I would go in, the first thing I'm going to do is fix, fix the white balance on this image in the, in the develop mode. So white balance. It's probably there-ish. I'm going to add some fill light just to bring out the shadows. And then what we'll notice is up here, here's a piece of sensor dust. Here's sensor dust. The sensor dust really shows up in gradients. And that's why interiors are so bad because that white ceiling is a gradient. It messes up with the, with the gradient. When you've got busy images, you're never going to see sensor dust. When you've got smooth gradients, sensor dust is a problem. We fix sensor dust over in the repair menu. And we could do any of these. I, I stick with heel and nib width. Nib is the, is the size of the image circle that we're going to sample from. I want it just slightly bigger than my sensor dust, which would be this. And then feathering, I want fairly soft. The soft feathering, especially on gradients, is just kind of the smoothness of what you're going to clone. I'm going to right click somewhere that's pretty similar. There's a right click and then I'm going to click on my sensor dust and boom, sensor dust gone. I've got another piece of sensor dust over here and it looks like, it almost looks like it's a pendant because this line coming down, but I believe what we're looking at is this line here and it just intersects with that. So that's a trickier one. So I'm gonna right click here to say that that's where I wanna sample from and I'm gonna click there to get rid of that sensor dust. Boom, sensor dust gone on this image, those two specs. I could be done right there and I could click save. In fact, you know what, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to click save and now that, that sensor dust is gone. But I already know in advance that all of these images all through here, in fact, even, even the ones where it's turned on its side, that sensor dust as coordinates is going to be in exactly the same space, uh, same spot on every image because the sensor dust tends to stick in the same spot. So what that means is I can take advantage of that and I can copy the settings of this image and I'll, you know, I'll go ahead and select all because I want to, I, I made a change to the white balance and the contrast and the fill light. But the important one down here is repair. I've got two choices here. Uh, I'll just explain them really quickly. I could unselect all these and I could, I could just repair just the sensor spots, which, you know, if you've got different pictures that, you know, need different adjustments, that's the choice I would make. On this set of images, all of these images are exposed pretty similar. So I'm going to take all of the adjustments, including heel and clone. I'm going to copy them. I'm going to paste all of those changes 
to all these images. And now it's going to zip through. It's going to do the white balance on all of these images, the fill light, the contrast, and it's going to get rid of that sensor dust. So that if we go in, let's let that finish up. If we go in on this image over here, probably see this card disappear. Boom, the, oh, the card disappeared to, <laughs> to the back. So uh, when we look up here, there's no sensor dust. Now, if I want to go back to an original image, and, and, and I, I probably wouldn't want to do that to this image, but say you've, you've applied some changes and you go, oh, what did the original actually look like? I can go here and this is re resets to default. So this will turn back to the default image. We can see that, oh yes, in fact, there is a spot of sensor dust. If I want to reapply my settings again, all I have to do is paste settings again. And this one will restore and you'll see the sensor dust disappear. Boom, sensor dust gone. Back to my same settings of my original image. In fact, I can probably go all the way through to some, let's go way over to some images way down later in the day, just as a quick test. If I paste this, the same settings onto this image, it's gonna go through, do the white balance. And, and like I'd mentioned, sensor dust tends to stick to the same spot. And so we can't see anything that I've cloned. And so even if, like this shot's probably four hours later, it's still safe to assume that the sensor, are we allowed to assume? It's still safe to assume that the sensor dust is in the same spot and I fixed it and I don't see a cloning problem. So I could apply these changes to all my images. And that's pretty much the way I fix sensor dust issues. Now, of course, it's way, it makes way more sense to get that in camera, go and check out the video on doing that. And uh, uh, most of our cameras now have uh, a setting to fix sensor dust. It's honestly a good idea to go in and hit that button before every shoot. But when you've got that sticky dust that has stuck to your, stuck to your photo, this is the way you're gonna do it. And on a series of images that were, were shot on the same day, go ahead and copy and paste those settings between all the images because it's just going to make your processing that much faster. So sensor dust, be gone. Get out there, take some photos, share them on social, and make the world a better and more beautiful place. Yeah.